Hello everyone, my name is Vic of EU's Market Biz and for today I am going to show you a very high potential coin and along with it is its website, okay? So without further ado, let's proceed to the coin. So the name of the coin is Tab Coin. So right now it's ranked 741 in coin market cap and Currently, its price is 0 0.004574 US dollars. The market cap of this coin is 2,079,732 USD. The volume is 144,646 US dollars in the 24-hour period. The circulating supply is 454,636,709 DAB. The total supply is 1,380,276,938 DAB. Okay, so here's the chart of the coin or token rather. And you can get this token at these exchanges. So these are Bitforex, BTC, Biloxi, IDEX, and LA, LA token. And you can also follow them at their Twitter account named at DAV Network. Okay, DAV Network. Okay. So let's proceed to their website. So this is their coin market cap page. So this is their website. So DAV means decentralized autonomous vehicles. The coin of transportation, blockchain based transportation protocol enabling a decentralized peer to peer global transportation network. So they are building a decentralized infrastructure to revolutionize the transportation industry on the blockchain. So there are two videos here. So the first one is an overview of DAV. The second one is a video that shows the first Australian company to utilize DAV protocol for shipping and logistics. So also found here uh, is, or, or rather there, um, social media links. Okay, so let's go on. So DAV's protocol allows anyone to utilize transportation services or put their own manned or autonomous vehicles on the network creating a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer transportation ecosystem so what blockchain means to transportation today so there are three decentralized ride hailing convenient city transportation and decentralized manned deliveries so what blockchain means to transportation tomorrow autonomous drone vehicles or deliveries rather Autonomous carriers and autonomous ride sharing. So, okay. so you can see the difference, right? So what? So the thing that I'm very interested in is this one, in where you can contact a drone to deliver the pa a package, right? So this is very very interesting, okay? So the blockchain enables a verifiable ledger of historical data from service providers, men or autonomous vehicles and users needed for insurers and third parties. A completely decentralized system that isn't controlled by any government or bank or company. A global payment standard between vehicles and their supporting infrastructure. A built-in smart mission contract which enables trustless cooperation between multiple vehicles and service providers so the technology of DAB so DAB is a framework of open source software open source hardware and a free decentralized marketplace where anyone can buy and sell autonomous transportation services so there are three major components on the, on the DAB network so the first one is decentralized discovery Right, so DAV allows autonomous vehicles to discover each other, as well as service providers and clients around them. DAV implements decentralized node discovery using a peer to peer protocol that does not rely on a central server. Instead, nodes are listed on a disturbed or distributed rather hash table, which can be accessed in an extremely efficient way. 
Second one is communication protocols. NAV defines a library of standardized communication protocols for various transportation scenarios. This communication is divided into two groups. The first one is on blockchain communication done directly by calling smart contracts and through events emitted by those smart contracts off blockchain communication. That is the su second one. It is done peer to peer using DAVs protocols. And the third one is trustless cooperation tools. So trustless cooperation between buyers and sellers of transportation services is achieved using a series of specialized smart contracts. These smart contracts enable multi-party contracts between buyer and seller, and when needed, between arbitrator, insurer, and others. These contracts are tied indirectly to the DAO token, guaranteeing financial resolution for transactions between multiple parties without requiring any pre-established trust. Okay, so let's check what they've built so far. So let's check um, the community modules that they've built. All right, so let's um, discuss it one by one. So the first one is drone charging network. So DAB connects drones and charging stations on an open network where they can buy and sell charging services using DAB tokens. So the current status is a DAB Alliance member has made available a network of charging stations in northern Italy. These stations offer charging services through the DAB network in exchange for DAB tokens. So it is currently in northern Italy where there are, there are five charging stations and it is made possible by an alliance member of DAB. And they offer charging services through the DAB network in exchange for DAB tokens. Oh, this, oh, this is nice, okay? So you can see in the app, um, charging stations like this one right so that is the first module the second module that they built or that is that is really built is a drone flight planning so dav connects drones and service providers allowing them to buy and sell flight planning services on the dav network using dav tokens drones pass the waypoints of their planned trip and the route planner bids to offer a service in exchange for dav tokens once a mission has been awarded the service provider returns a list of coordinates to fly through so that the drone can reach its destination safely. This flight plan takes into consideration environmental, topographical, and regulatory considerations. So the current status for this is integration with the DAV Alliance member has been completed and the service is currently offered in Nevada, USA. So as you can see, the drone will follow that route, right? So you'll know what time and when well, the drone arrive okay so you can monitor your drone and this is currently offered in Nevada USA stated all right so that is the second one so the third one is drone missions app so missions is the first app built to showcase the DAB ecosystem it connects users looking to ship packages with autonomous drones Users request drone services, drones bid for those services, and trustless cooperation is enabled by using blockchain. The current status is integration of the first drone partner, Copter Express, is underway. So as you can see, this is a sample of the app where there's a drone available, right? And then this one, the drone will pick up an order, and then they will deliver it. Okay, so that is very very nice. This is what I've been talking about, and along with the second um, community module, this works very well, right? Flight planning and at the same time the missions app. Okay, so the DAB deal CLI and test it. So their command line or CLI tool was built to make developing applications and services that interact with them a much more pleasant experience. It allows developers to easily run a local testnet containing DAV contracts, generate identities secured by private and public keys, and register them on the blockchain. This allows anyone to easily scaffold new projects or modify an existing one to interact with DAV and more. So the current status for this is fully functioning testnet and identity generation already used by foundation projects. Work on connecting the registration functionality with the identity smart contract is in progress. Right? The next one is the DAB developer portal. 
So their developer portal incorporates API documentation, communication protocols, and instructions for running and their command line interface, local testnet, and block explorer. So the current stats for this is multiple communication protocols written, and a user guide for their CLI tools is now available. Right, so the, th the next one is block explorer. So their block explorer allows users to, to explore local Ethereum testnets. This eases development and debugging for our developers building apps and services on top of DAO. So the current status for this is work is underway to package a block explorer, enabling it to launch automatically from the DAO CLI tools. So the next one is mission control. Mission Control serves as the recovery and communication layer that connects and keeps track of vehicles, users, and services. Fully working for running simulated environments with drone deliveries, currently being expanded to support the vehicles of their first partner. So that is the current status. Okay, so the next one is also my favorite. So the Autonomous Boat. So Dev and the California Maritime University are developing an autonomous boat called Nemo. So this is Nemo. When launched at the end of September, NEMO will be tasked with collecting oceanographic measurements in the San Francisco Bay. When NEMO runs low in energy, it connects to the DAV network, purchase, and pay for charging services with DAV tokens. And after it charges, head back to sea. NEMO will demonstrate true autonomy by spending money to take care of its own needs, allowing it to operate independently for long periods at sea. So the boat is ready. And the work on the onboard computer and its final integration with the DAV network is in progress. So this is the boat of Nemo. The next one is search and rescue robot. So DAV and Australian, a robotics prototyping platform. This is also one of my favorites, um, aside from the boat, from, aside from Nemo. Okay. So sorry, DAV and Australian are developing a POC involving an autonomous robotic rover that will perform drone search and rescue missions. The rover will bid for missions to locate drones that have lost contact with their owners, go to their last known location, and then using its onboard lighter and computer vision, find them and send back their exact coordinates. So the current stats for this is Rossbot's computer vision algorithms are being updated to support identifying drones. So this is very important, or this is very nice because this is very helpful for the owners of drones that have lost contact. Right, so these are all the community built modules under the dev protocol. Right, so they already made a lot. Okay, so let's go back to the website. So this is the roadmap. Okay, so you can see it in their website. And their white paper is also available here, so you can download it at their website. So here's their team of advisors. So there's a lot, and these are from influ very influential since these are from renowned companies. Okay. So as you can see. And these are the main um, team. Okay. And since DAB is an open source software, there's a lot of open source contributors already. Okay, so as you can see, there are many open source contributors. And the DAV network also have its alliance. So the DAV brings together members of the transportation industry so that they may collaborate on standards and innovations for global decentralized networks. So these are the list of their um, alliance members. And you can also become part of their alliance by clicking the alliance page. Right, so here it is. And you can see the benefits of being an alliance member here so shared knowledge and influence and blockchain technology and the DAP protocol so they are building a decentralized commons for all so these are the list of their alliance members and you can also become part of their alliance by filling out this form here okay
so also is their telegram group where you can freely ask your questions there and I'm sure someone will reply to you there and also their YouTube channel so this is also updated from time to time you can also subscribe there and some facts about DAV right so DAV is very very um, nice so if you're fond of drones or you're so tacky enough okay so this might be the right um, token for you so try to research this one or check this one okay so this is the DAV coin but this is a token okay so you might be um, wondering why it's called DAV coin and this one is token so to, clear, to be clear enough it's token it's a token okay so here's also their medium account or medium page where there's a lot of um, updates also you can also um, read here all right so this is that right so check dab and I know you're gonna love it okay so before I go, I just want to say that I'm not a financial advisor and everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto. So, you must always do your own research for deciding for yourself, okay? So, I think that's it. So, please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe, right? So, this is Vic once again, signing off.